beautiful people. How are y'all doing with your wonderful, beautiful Sunday morning? Anyway, the Lord has had us on a treasure hunt, so to speak, this last day or so, and revealing some hidden things to us. And before we reveal anything, uh, what's under this cloth here, as you can see, Richard has a few things he would like to share with you. Yes, uh, well, you may remember that yesterday, um, we shared with you how God had given Carrie a dream about this desk and how we later found it and purchased it and brought it home. It's a writing desk, a computer desk. And uh, he had given her the name Natalia in a dream. And uh, part of what the Lord was showing me when I proclaimed over her that God was going to do that, I had actually had a dream in which I felt like the Lord was sharing with me that God was going to give her a Hebrew name, uh, and he later did. Um, I uh, had felt in that that I was supposed to look up the number of that name. And so I have done that, and um, it's kind of interesting. Let me show you what I found here. Uh, that is the way the, the upper uh, Hebrew there uh, is the way Nataya is written in Hebrew, with the nun on the right, the tet next to it, the he next to that, the yud, and then the he. Uh, those numbers, the, each of the Hebrew letters there represents a number. The nun is the number 50, the tet is the number 9, the he is the number 5, the yud is the number 10, and again he is 5, which totals 79. Now the way you would more properly write uh, 79 would be with the way it's seen below, with the ion and the tet, ion being 70 and the tet being 9. Well, it's kind of interesting. Uh, did some research and found out that ayin tet is the word eight in Hebrew, and the word eight in Hebrew means pen. Specifically, if we look here, interestingly enough, on the computer, here's the word eight again, as it's written. And uh, I'm not sure how well you can see this on the screen. I see it kind of flipping a little bit. But it specifically says under the first a definition there, an iron stylus with diamond tipped used for writing on stone or metal. Okay, what you don't know at this point is a few days ago, um, Carrie had gone to a uh, to visit a friend, and or actually they had come to pick her up. They met her in uh, Pigeon Forge and took her down to their home, and uh, this is uh, her friend Teresa Estes, correct? That's who that was, Teresa. And um, Teresa gave Carrie six stones from the river. And that is what's under here. There's six stones. And Carrie had already begun, before we saw all this stuff this morning, Carrie had already begun the process of painting and writing on these stones. Uh, there's one specific there. Uh, what was? What is it that the Lord... It's kind of hard to make out here on the video. This one says, this one has a cross on it, and it says the blood will never lose its power. Yeah, the blood of Jesus will never lose its power. Um, so, interesting that she's already painting and writing on stones, and that's what this... You know, again, oops, it, it disappeared here, but on the computer. But that's, that's what this... Her name... The number of her name literally means... Uh, pen, you know, the kind that you would use to write on stone or metal. So, anyway, uh, we found that very intriguing. Um, you know, you, you, we need to research the deep things of God. God says, I can't remember the exact words, but it's something like, uh, it's the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings to find it out. To search it out. Uh, to search it out. So, if God's giving you something, uh, we'd really encourage you to search it out. If you don't understand it, pray, ask God to reveal more. There's just so much that uh, that He has for us if we will just look into His Word and, and study and pray. And well, there's also a verse in the New Testament that says, Study to show yourself a word and it needeth not be ashamed. Yeah, rightly dividing the word of truth. So there's, there's wrong ways to divide the word of truth, but there's the right way to divide the word of truth. And we need to, as we've been learning in our Bible study on Saturday evenings at the Skiles home, um, we've been learning that um, 
you know, we need to view things through the Hebrew mindset, uh, not through the Greek mindset, which is uh, what uh, what tends to be the, the case in the bulk of Christendom today. Uh, we, we see things through the, the, Hebrew, the, uh, the Greek mindset, but uh, God is returning us to the roots of our faith and understanding Hebrew and the, the depths of that language and you know, I only know a little bit of Hebrew, and Carrie doesn't know even remotely that much. But you know, we're we're learning, and he's teaching us the words he wants us to know and remember, and um, you know, he's piecing it all together for us. So, anyway, do you have anything else to add, babe? Um, no, I think that's about it. They continue to stay, stay tuned because uh, I know there's going to be more. The Lord's going to be showing us a lot more. I'm just excited about what God is doing here. Yeah. And thanks again, Teresa, for your part in this and giving us those stones. You, you asked the Lord what to give us, or give Carrie, and he, he led you to give her these stones. And so there's a purpose in that. God bless you all.